I call this meeting to order. We have a quorum. All right, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Clark, will you please call the roll? Ms. Fuller. Ms. Kelly. Aye. Are here. Aye. Ms. Cope. Here. Ms. Devine. Here. Ms. Fox Dream. Aye. Here. Mr. Evans. Here. Ms. Holder. Here. Here. All Pardon. present. Pardon. All right. Is there anyone signed up to speak this evening? Yes, Mr. Thompson. Good evening. Just want to follow up saying um, thank you, everybody. For wonderful festivals, President, Trustees, Ms. Clerk, Police Fire Department. Everything worked out real well this year. Um, again, no lost children. <laughs> that's my worst nightmare. That's my worst nightmare is the lost child, an abducted child. Um, we only had the one minor mishap with fireworks that went into the crowd, minor technicality. But nobody um, got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. There's only like what three small brush fires or yeah, no instances different. from the police and fire department. They were great. No fighting. No people getting too much to drink and so forth. Uh, we haven't got final numbers yet, but we did, we did fairly well. The crowd was very large. Their tent was packed. The carnival was packed. Um, I think the community needed it. I think it brought everybody closer, especially with the incident that we had on Saturday, which you know, with Scabby out there. Friday. Friday. I'm sorry. The days run together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the days. It's Friday. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to stop by and really give you a sincere thank you for me and the committee. You guys did a great job helping us out. Thank you for what you guys do. You guys do an awesome job. Thank you. And, oh, we already have a meeting on uh, August 17th. Here at 715, I'll send out an email. Mr. President, Mr. Hedges, if you want to attend, give us what you guys think, or any of the other trustees are more than welcome. Give us your input from a village standpoint, what we can do to improve or whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else this evening? No, that's it. Before you, you have the meeting minutes from July 15, 2021. Please review them for any additions or corrections. I just wanted to do one clarification under announcements at the end. Um, when I mentioned that I went to a county board, it was an actual a public meeting that was here in Hampshire, and it was on redistricting. So I just wanted to clarify that, um, and that the uh, let's see, the, the comment about which showed three different maps that had Hampshire all spread out. Instead of all spread out, it was actually divided into multiple county board districts. And then that last one, we're all in one district. We kind of slurred that at the end, so maybe it's not the part at all. <laughs> we do what we always do, playing me. <laughs> it's me blurring. Any other changes? Yes, I have one. Uh, under the BDC report, I reported that at the next village board meeting, the board would vote on the two facade improvement programs, not at the next BDC. The BDC had already met on the recommendations prior to that. They just weren't on the agenda for a vote. Third time for the win. Any other changes? Sorry. Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes with the changes noted. So moved. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> I started twitching. Okay, so do we have a first and second? I'm sorry, Ryan, you don't have a mic. Any other questions or comments? You sign him next time he speaks up. Uh, this voter? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Mr. Cole? Aye. Mr. Mott? Aye. Ms. Palestini? Aye. Mr. Aye. Motion passed 6-0. Mr. Hedges. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First thing I'd like to do is uh, make a correction on the agenda under item D. Uh, the BDC vote was 3-2 in favor, not 5-2. 
Thank you, Trustee Kelly. So now we go back to item A, and we would ask for a motion to appoint Susie Kopass to the Business Development Commission for a three year term. So, as you guys know, we kind of developed this process together where we conduct interviews and votes publicly for uh, appointments and that kind of thing. So, Mr. Kajeki is here tonight. I don't know if you guys know who Mr. Kajeki is. He uh, is the chairman, our outspoken chairman of our BDC. And uh, he, he uh, interviewed how many candidates? Two? Uh, two. Two. And uh, in your packet here, you'll find the uh, findings of fact and her application, uh, as well as uh, her, should, yeah, no, and her application. Um, there should have been a letter of interest as well, but they didn't make it into the package, which is fine. Um, but anyway, um, Ryan is the census professional. Just so you know. And you're listed. So, but it's fine. Um, so, uh, it's Ryan and my recommendation that we appoint Ms. Kopaz to another three year term. She currently sits on the BDC, and Ms. Kopaz is here today for any questions that the board might have. <laughs> Ryan, do you have anything to add? She's amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, she's she's an outstanding contributor. She has been with uh, with the board, I think, uh, for three years, and she is one of our uh, our most um, uh, consistent contributors. She's at almost every single meeting. Um, she has helped uh, carve out uh, new paths for us to follow. Um, I cannot recommend her any time. She, she's outstanding. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Rajecki or Ms. Kopay? And I'll obtain a motion to approve Ms. Susie Kopay to a three year term on the Business Development Commission. So, sorry. Any other questions or comments? Um, Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mr. Coates. Aye. Mr. Matt. Aye. Ms. Palestrini. Aye. Mr. Robinson. Aye. Ms. Foden. Aye. Motion passed 6 0. Thank you so much. I mean, the the process was due, and there's some bumps in the road, but I think it I think it worked out well. Thank you very much for your service and agreeing to stick with us. I have just one request. Oh, absolutely. Make the application online instead of on paper. We talked about that already, didn't we, Mr. And the next time you'll get the board and commissioner's application, not the employee application. Oh, no. <laughs> you hey, hired. you're hired. <laughs> yeah, it won't be four pages. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said bumps in the road, but we'll get it worked out for the next time. But it's with the board's help that we came up with the procedure in which we came up with. And so now we're going to move forward. With it, so. Mr. President, have we reached out to the other um, applicant just to point out other things that he can do or do to keep him involved? Yeah, so um, Brian reached out to him uh, with um, with not being selected. And then I, I'm talking to Mr. McBride as well about some of the things that he could do to stay involved with us. Uh, we don't have any other openings at the current time because we're already involved in the process for the other appointments. But he did say that he'd be interested in serving in the rules. And if I may add, I mean, he did interview um, very well. And uh, I think if you could find a, a spot for him on any committee, I think that he would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the next item we have is we would ask for a motion to approve a raffle for the White Riders Snowmobile Club uh, for three cash prizes totaling $2,300. Any questions on the raffle application? I entertain a motion to approve the raffle application for uh, the White Riders Snowmobile Club. Some Questions or comments? Roll call vote, please. Mr. Palestini? Aye. Mr. Matt? Aye. Mr. Cole? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Mr. Foley? Aye. Mr. Robinson? Aye. Motion passed 6-0. Thank you. The next item we have is a, we would request a motion to approve an agreement for water supply services at 17 North 075 Harmony Road, Hampshire Township. Uh, this is the Deakman property, which is not in the village limits. Uh, the Deakmans, uh, uh, Jeff and Debbie Diefman are with us online tonight. If you have any questions, they did not ask to speak, so they're just here to answer questions if you have any. Um, this is they have an existing uh, two existing properties in the village now. They will be operating a business out of this this new property, 10 acres over at Harmony Road. 
Uh, you do have an agreement in front of you as well as an agenda supplement, Attorney Schuster. Essentially, the, the uh, requirement is the same connection fee as a, a resident would be required, in this case, $5,200 uh, for a two, two, five-bedroom home. And uh, if there is no sewer available to that property, by the way, they, they also would like to remove the sewer, but it's not available. And, uh, and then as a non-resident, uh, the ordinance requires them to pay uh, 50% 50, 50 surcharge on the regular rate. So instead of the seven, the seven would be 50% um, surcharge. Do you have any questions on the agreement in front of you? Just a, uh, just a question of clarification. Is there, uh, are there pipes out there now or they're going to have to tap into something that's nearby? The water, is, the, the water is fairly close. That'll be their responsibility to engineer that, prepare a drawing, have it approved by our engineering department and receive a building permit for that. Mm -hmm. They're well aware of that. Mm -hmm. That'll be at their expense. Okay. Any other questions? Comment? Mm -hmm. Just a point of clarification on page two of the ordinance. I think they're not ordinance the agreement. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, under number seven A, we only have a five dollar per month capital improvement. I thought there were two two it's fees. Five dollars per month per service. So this would be ten dollars per billing cycle. Because it's only water. Because it's only water. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Understood. Any other questions? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve an agreement for water supply, water supply services at 17 North 75 Army Road in Hampshire Township. I'll make your motion. Second. Questions or comments? Mr. Mott? Aye. Mr. Aye. Mr. Robinson? Aye. Sort of. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mr. Cole. Aye. Mr. Thank you to the Deakmans. I appreciate working with you the last few months. Thank you. Thank you. The next item we have is uh, we've been asked for a motion to approve a facade improvement grant to Ambrose Seiler for the property 165 State Street for 75% of the total project cost $41,450 for $31,087.50. Uh, the BDC vote was three to two in favor. And I'll defer to uh, Christy Kelly. Thank you. Uh, so this is one of two motions that you will see tonight. Uh, on pages 21 and 22 of the packet are the detailed notes, thanks to Commissioner Becky, or Chairman, sorry, Mr. Becky. Uh, I think you the right title. Uh, I, I, I thought you said trustee. <laughs> 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 And uh, I'm I'm here to answer any questions that you may have, uh, either myself or Chairman. Why was the vote three to two? So uh, I'll give mine, and then Chairman, I'll hand it over to you. The the two days uh, were only in regards to the fact that the plans included improvements on the alley, which was felt by those that voted nay that that isn't part of the facade program but it was part of the overall that outside of that component it was a good project but the fact that it was an alley not seeable by any external line of sight should have been included. and just for the record that that amount was about six thousand five hundred dollars of the total anything you'd like to add Charlie? no i i, I think I, we were, we addressed this once that maybe the bdc needs to refine what uh, they're going to cover under the facade. Uh, and I think that came to light with the Bassett place uh, doing steel girders and beams and stuff in the building. When, if you look at the definition of facade, it's the front. So I think the BDC needs to come back to the board with a parameter of what is covered under the facade program. So can I ask, is is the uh, is is your uh, point of view that things like that should be included because it's overall improvement of the building, or that it should stay to the front? Um, no, the building, yes. Any, okay. Anything on the ground, no. Gotcha. Understood. Maybe some sidewalk or some planters yeah. or something, but if you're going to do work in the alley, that's no. That's because, a, because the definition of the site of the side program now is anything that's public view. Thought. Correct. Because that is that that is the current. Yes, yeah, so that was discussed in detail at the. At the PDC, and I think public commissioners knew what they were voting for. Um, 
I would also remind the, the village board that the BDC only recommended a 50% um, funding for the Bassett Hunt Rescue, and the village board overruled that and funded it in 75%. And it was pointed out um, is that it that that portion of the building is viewable from Washington, and that was really the point of contention that the three board members that voted I that was the stipulation that they were operating under, is that it was viewable from Washington, and therefore was considered as that defined by the um, the actual ordinance itself. It is written that um, if it's viewable from one of the public right of ways, then it is considered part of the facade. So that was the, the stipulation as to why it was going to be. Sorry, I stand corrected. Yes, it is. No, no, I think you said. I, right. I, I have no problem with it. I mean, yeah. I just think that it for future down the road, we might need to actually have some kind of guidelines. So I also would like to point out that the owner of the property, Ambrose Seiler, is here in attendance tonight and is willing to take questions if there are any from the board. Um, outside of the procedural stuff that, the, that uh, Chairman Krajewski and Trustee Kelly are very does this actually does it include then the work in the alley as it's written now? Yes, it is, it is the application as approved for, re or for recommendation. Okay, and, and then, this is I'm sorry to interrupt. This is not the first time we funded that, it's been funded. The uh, GABM is also okay. And if you could kind of explain then, because I wasn't around for some of the other ones, um, does the facade agreement that include? State Street down here, and does it include Washington Street? Yes, there is a defined area, and this is in a defined area. And that is in a defined area. Okay. And so then, if you could see it from Washington Street, the defined area, that's why they're including the ambulance. That was the interpretation, okay. which I think is a reasonable one. Um, it's not a unanimous one. And it's also, you know, what, what did you say at the beginning of this? That the, the total value for the rear improvements was about $6,500. So, I mean, there, it's, it's reasonable to think that the part that we're funding is going to cover the front and then they would cover the back. The other point, I believe, was that if those funds were not granted to that, we had another grant application before us. Yeah. The commission did, and that more of those funds could have been applied to the other application on Washington. Um, but that was not possible. I have a question. What, 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 what will this be? What's so it, it's going to be it's to be run it off, mm -hmm. um, and you know, we appreciate the opportunity to uh, be able to prove it. Like that has been long standing. In fact, we found out my uncle owned that building in uh, thirty six. Um, so, uh, so just to clarify, it's not just myself; but it's River Valley Turf Partnership, which is actually myself and my brother. So it's just myself. And so we do plan on renting it out, and I've talked to a couple of folks on the board here, having the uh, both administrator help with uh, going through and, and you know looking and deciding and trying to bring someone to town uh, to be able to improve our uh, restaurant, victory, insurance, and I'm not sure. You can move that other business to town. We'll find a place for it too. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions, comments? Okay, I will entertain a motion to approve the facade improvement grant to the uh, called River Valley Turf Partnership uh, for $31,087.50. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call vote, please. Mr. Robinson. Aye. Mr. Belstrain. Mr. Matt. Aye. Mr. Cole. Yes. Mr. Kelly. I voted in the BDC. Oh, okay. This voted. Aye. Motion passed. Five yes. One. I think the overall project is great. It's just. Thank you. Uh, the next item we have on the agenda is a motion to approve a facade improvement grant to Kelly Zuffi for property at one for the property at 148 Washington for 50 percent of the total project cost of 61,255 for 30,680 50. Uh, the BDC vote. In this case, it was five to zero, and I would I would like to say that the application was for seventy five percent. 
that they were taken in proper order. And uh, uh, it was understood that that was all that was available. And I believe the BDC also would have funded it at 75% having money been available. It's a great project, but I'll again defer to Tristan. Yeah, the only thing I'll say on this is that it wasn't decided to fund at 50%, it was decided to fund with all the remaining funds left in the budget, which comes out. So that was the official recommendation is to use the remaining funds of the uh, facade program. Which is Anybody have any questions about this application? I have two. Um, the first one is that the estimate and everything is written out for 130 Washington. And the other parts is 148. So I wanted to know if that was a mistake or. Um, you just go. Well, you're right. <laughs> you're building. Oh, no, it's your no, it's 148. All oh, the estimate from the from the two rows. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Because all of a sudden that address popped up on me. Um, and then the second question is, is what is this? What is the business currently that's in this? Is it a residence? I think it's a residence. Right around currently, it's being used as a rental. He is moving out on September 1st. What's it going to be after September 1st? We're going to rent it space and open it up for the public. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ye
street or road or lane within town that needs the resurfacing the most of any other property. Yes, in fact, we sat at this very table last year with the Public Works Committee and later with staff um, to set those priorities and they're, they're set in the capital budget, uh, which you all had. Uh, I guess we didn't have to ask for a vote on that, but you had it. We, that's been a real helpful guide. Okay. In fact, just this week, uh, Josh and I went over with the utilities and went through their entire capital budget and kind of readjusted things for pricing and do the same thing on street. This one does not have any infrastructure under it, any water and sewer, so that was the other reason that we didn't have any funds for that. But this was uh, the street department's number one priority. One last question. Tim, this is for you, sir. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, are there any concerns on your part on the variance, just how much under the other bids that seem somewhat aligned, they're still on the high end and the low, but the, the low bid we're going with seems to be an outlier from the others. Are there any concerns of that? Great company. No, I, I don't have any concerns there, good company. What, <clears throat> excuse me, what oftentimes you have at this time of year when you bid something is you'll have a, a contractor that's got a hole in their schedule and they'll come in more competitive than other people because they want to keep people busy for the whole season. Great, thank you. Any other questions? Why don't we look into break ground up? Just ballpark. Well, they're going to grind and resurface. Okay. Tim, timing? Yeah, it'll probably, you know, take a couple of weeks to do the contracting so they could be starting by the end of August, otherwise September. This, like this fall? Yes, this fall. And the grinder will go 180 feet a minute. And how will, I have a question. How will residents be notified? Just because I don't know. Uh, our public works department will take that one. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, since he said starting in two weeks, I'm just wondering. Well, you and, can't do it until you approve it, so. Right. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> So that's why I'm asking, like, what is the procedure yeah. for that? Next week, early next week. Okay. And I have one comment. I would just request that next time EEI gives us this lovely chart, but maybe they can landscape so we can read it. <laughs> because that's that's my responsibility. We're running back at that. Uh, I'm just old. I no, I this. can't read it either. I got brand new glasses. I know I got stronger ones too, and it didn't help. It's really so. easy on your screen. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just. I got no hard. problem. I zoom in. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Oh, Jack, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I find it coming. Oh, that's Perfect. good. That's yeah. good. All right. If there's no other questions, I'll entertain a motion to accept a little bit and approval for the award of uh, repaving Julie Lane. So moved. Second. Okay. Questions, comments? Yeah. Okay. We'll call vote, please. Mr. Cook. Aye. Mr. Matt. Aye. Mr. Constantine. Aye. Mr. Anderson. Aye. Mr. Gordon. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mr. Pence, 6-0. Cool. Okay. Um, Mr. Mayor, first I would like to welcome back from uh, summer camp, Boy Scout camp, as a counselor and stand-in camp manager, at there, camp director. Uh, Josh Ray is back with us, and so he will present to you tonight the building department report. Thank you, Mr. Hedges. So in your packet, there's a summary report there along with a couple of charts. Uh, 46 permits came or were issued in July. Uh, one of them is a new home permit, which you'll see is kind of low compared to other months. But over the past two months, there's been, I think, 12, uh, if I remember right. So they're just busy and uh, probably are submitting some as we speak. Uh, plan review time is hovering right around two days, which is excellent. Uh, value added from the projects last month was uh, $546,000 and permit fees collected were uh, nearly $16,000 in July. A couple of special notes, uh, 1R and its subcontractors met here at Village Hall for a pre-construction meeting, uh, mainly with Tim from EEI uh, to go over a variety of topics, uh, listed a few of them there. And then as you all know, grading and construction continues in the Oakstead subdivision, it's rolling right along. Uh, the charts in your packet, you can see the first one depicts last year versus this year, uh, new home permits. Um, so it's tracking approximately the same as it was last year. And then uh, you have another chart that shows the permits by type so far this year of the many uh, frequent permits that we get, fences, driveways, decks, that type of thing. Happy to answer any questions. What do you put in there to make it so weighty? Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> You said in. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, you know what hard work. No, I just want to comment too, and this was very helpful. Um, I'm a very visual person, so it's lovely to have the numbers. Great to see the graphs. So thank you for the extra time on that. Yes, thank you. There are other questions. Uh, how would you like to handle the department? No, go ahead. Well, you have the street department uh, uh, report before you. Uh, I think uh, Dave highlighted for you. Numbers are a little confusing, but what he's really trying to tell you there in yellow is that the department, by doing this work themselves, saved the village $8,799, which is great. Um, and then you also have uh, just the basics, uh, storm drain repairs, uh, SSA mowing, and you the rest is all pretty straightforward. And if there are no questions with that, then the next item is um, uh, compliance as uh, third consecutive monthly uh, treasurer's report. I'll show you summarizing for you. Yeah, you can answer any questions. All right, here we go. Um, fortunately, Jeff and our, my numbers pretty much match up for the building department. Uh, <laughs> so that was a, a bonus. Um, I have highlighted um, some of the areas of revenue and expense that we take a closer look at to make sure that we're on target. Um, being, this is the June 2021 report, so we are two months into the fiscal year. Uh, that would be 16.67% of the year. So therefore, um, anything below 16.67% uh, is something that will um, kind of pique our interest, if you will. So in the areas of revenue that um, we do look at um, with a critical eye, use tax is lower than um, expected. Use tax includes things um, such as business purchases out of state where somebody has to pay a use tax rather than a sales tax. Um, and then also things like um, if you were to sell a personal vehicle to another person, when the new person goes to register the vehicle, they pay use tax when they when they license the vehicle. So those are some examples of what use tax are. Um, that is kind of a, a guess. That's not something that um, the state provides any assistance with, to us. So. I look at last year's um, numbers and estimate for this year. So we are lower than expected. It could be timing. We'll just have to see how that one falls out. So that's that. Um, as far as other taxes and fees, um, the ones that stand out as lower than expected would be places for eating. Um, that I believe is just kind of a timing issue. Uh, we did not start the places for eating tax increase until uh, July. So. Uh, that will be kept, be catching up. And then fines, fees, and reports. Um, we're still lagging on um, uh, court fines and those types of things. They just aren't um, coming in as strongly as expected. Um, obviously, people are now meeting um, in person for court, but um, they just aren't, uh, they aren't coming in as expected at this time. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that as well. Um, with respect to property taxes, we uh, obviously the first installment was due in June, so we would expect to have received 50% of our tax levy extension, and we have received actually 52.4%, so we're right on target with that. Um, with respect to capital outlay, um, we did not budget for the branding here in the boardroom, so that's what's kind of putting that at the max, at least at this point. And then the street capital outlay is the sweeper again, as I reported at the last meeting, the closing for the debt certificates did happen. So um, it's kind of a timing thing, um, but yeah, that's that's where, where we're at. You'll see that correct itself. Um, with respect to water sales and sewage sales, that again is a timing thing because of our bi-monthly cycle. Um, we can't normally expect um, exactly 66.67%. Um, so we'll, we'll be watching that. Um, and then the final thing that is looking odd is the IEPA loan and other sewer expenses. Um, that's a biannual payment, so it's pretty much always going to look out of whack um, until the end of the year when we meet the, uh, I'll be right on target for that, so it'll, it'll be the 100% eventually. 
Any questions? Just a question. I'm in the first page. The towing fees are at 50%. I mean, yeah, so um, <laughs> last year um, we didn't tow very many cars. Um, you know, the police weren't super active. Not that they weren't um, towing vehicles for drunk driving and those types of things, but um, people just weren't out and about. And so when I did the estimate for this year, um, uh, I was conservative, we'll put it that way. So it, it is at 50% budget. And um, that that really, while we have a target for that, those monies are reserved for uh, police purposes. So it's not like, oh my gosh, we're gonna come in double what your expectations are, we have money to spend. It, it's reserved for their use, so they'll have money to spend. Okay. okay. I just want to say thank you for putting the report together. This is very informative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great work. Okay. With that, uh, Mr. Mayor, I think we're ready to move to, to uh, payables. This is a quite remarkable meeting so far. Don't jinx it. Uh, compliment, uh, oh, come on. Uh, um, so we would ask for a motion to approve the August 5th, 2021 accounts payable to personnel in the amount of $64.64. I will entertain a motion to that fact. Sorry. Questions, comments? Roll call vote, please. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Bowden. Aye. Mr. Robinson. Aye. Ms. Paul Sweeney. Aye. Mr. Matt. Aye. Mr. Gould. Aye. Motion passes here. Thank you. We would ask for a motion to approve the August 5th, 2021 regular accounts payable in the amount of $222,365.99. Questions or comments? Questions? Yes. I have not looked at this uh, in detail. Is there anything in here? We recouped any of our uh, overtime from the police department for the CAVES event? We have not recouped it. We have identified the amount now, however, and I'll be meeting with um, Gina this week, next week. Okay. I, I want to look at their finances. They uh, it was a first time event. I think the whole board was very supportive of the idea, and we would like to see more events. I think went well. Uh, we do have a complete, complete report from the police department, and uh, as soon as I have a chance to meet the chief, I'll come back to you. As a recommendation. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, on page nine, what are elite location services? So, pretty self-explanatory. Um, yes, we are um, going through a village-wide survey of our water system. Um, Emmy Simpson connects to fire hydrants, and they're able to audibly somehow listen and feel water leaks between point A and point B. And so we're trying to identify areas where we are um, having water loss. You've seen our water loss report, and it's not great. So. Um, at this time, we've identified two locations that um, one scheduled for a big water main fix, um, a relocation already, and we will be uh, going through the bidding process and getting that taken care of. And then a second location in Lakewood that everyone will remember um, was a problem one other time. So, Is that where we had to dig up the guy's driveway? Yeah. yeah we're going to have to dig it up again. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. But we're going to do it right this a little bit of a different fix. Okay. Are we going to buy that guy a gift card to dinner or something? Because oh, he was like very patient. patient. He was awesome though. The last thing very interesting. I was out there with Mark and Josh yesterday and taking a look at it. And uh, it's it, we have eight of these sort of eyebrow cul-de-sacs in Lakewood. And uh, what they did when they, when they installed the water lines is they instead of running across the cul-de-sac, it's just a, just an eyebrow, and then you know tunneling the services to the three houses. They ran a loop in all, all eight of the cul-de-sacs. This particular cul-de-sac has leaked once before, and now it's leaking again. It was located, as Lori said, in the leak detection. There were actually four leaks detected. One is a major leak. That's the one that we consider a major leak. The other three are pretty minor leaks. And one of the other three is actually at the, the main that's on 72, and uh, uh, the cross is 72 that just uh, serves those three homes. And if you recall, uh, it's the codes last year, we you and Mayor approved an emergency repair, but it turned out we didn't have the proper permitting and everything to repair it at the time. But it's leaking again now for about the 10th time in the last five years. So we're, we're that's in our capital budget. That's in the process. It's already been engineered. I'll be back with you at the next board meeting to make that. Report. So back to this one. Um, when they, you know, you can't bend steel pipe in a, in a 
circles. So they actually have about seven joints and they're about four feet apart, elbows on them, just small angles. It's probably not a great design in the beginning, although the other, there's no reason to really think that the design is poor. Maybe that this particular junction was just forced into, into it's a really, really deep because the, it's a lot of sand out there, which is why we had to dig so deep the last time, why they had to bury the lines. So these, are, these water lines are about 10 feet deep in the ground, which is a lot deeper than normal. So what we plan to do this time, I have consulted with um, Tim Paulson from EI, and went out there yesterday. We think it's probably the right thing to do to just eliminate those that curve and just run the line straight across uh, the cul-de-sac and then tunnel the three the three services in. We have a quote, so for a preliminary quote, uh, for $30,000 to make that repair. And that's one of the things that uh, Mark and I met on yesterday to talk about the capital budget, how we can fit that in. We were able to move things around. So tentatively, that's the plan to repair that. If I remember right, back when we did the leak detection the last time, there was a significant cost savings to the village that we weren't wasting and treating the water. Yes, and I, I do want to mention that because we've made a, a newer policy now that we're going to do leak detection at least every other year. It used to be done just sort of randomly. Um, it's $11,000, roughly, I think it is, to do the leak detection work. And uh, it's really a, a good way of identifying where we're, where we're losing our water. And this time around, as I said, there were only four leaks, which is really good. Um, and we're going to address at least three of them. We'll be able to address these three. One of many trusty coats, great angles. There'll be a new leak tomorrow. Probably a Twilliger. Fire hydrant I broke. Okay. Right? It's been leaking for three years. Never got around the call. <laughs> Okay, so with that, is there, are there any other questions? I forgot we were talking about accounts table. I did too. <laughs> That's why I, I keep track. Any other questions? With that, I'll approve uh, a motion or I'll entertain a motion to approve the accounts payable for August 5th, 2021 in the amount of $222,365.99. Questions or comments? We'll call both, please. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Gordon. Aye. Mr. Robinson. Aye. Ms. Palestini. Aye. Mr. Mark. Aye. Mr. Cole. Aye. We should pass 6 0. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That's all I have tonight. Hey, public relations. I am checking the date for our next meeting, uh, which will be August 26 at 7 p.m., right here. So, looking forward to seeing anybody who would like to help us get the word out about raising the And Trustee Ferrer, I want to just give you a quick update that uh, Mr. Ray has made contact with NIU and uh, has well a job description. And uh, we're close to maybe potentially having a, an intern. Be fantastic. So, welcome to the PR, or maybe this is from Mr. Ray, just in general. Now, welcome back. Yes. Thank you. Now that you're back, uh, it might be good to remove mm -hmm. the other Facebook admins. Let's get off the page that Mr. Reader and myself are managing the social anymore since we're not. I can do that. Still have been, but I can be on that as far as I know. Well, I thought we were having Mr. Ray take on the village. You have so discussed that. I like how you know, I like how you said that. You, you have this stuff. <laughs> how about, how about, how about point we talk about it at the PR committee that we need to find an employee to take on social media? That would be a great company. Whoever that may be appointed by the village committee. Somebody just has to break that to the person that's doing it now. I think you'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll get over it. Budget. Anything. No report. BDC. Uh, we had a lot on the agenda tonight. Thank you, everyone, for your consideration. I think those are great projects that are going to get approved. They got approved and, and make some great building improvements for all of them. Thank you for that. The next BDC meeting will be next Wednesday, 6 30. Right. Yep, 6 30, the 11th here. Oh. Public works. Uh, no report on public works. Other than I don't know if anybody's walked it, but the trail has all been uh, seal coated and crack filled mm -hmm. up and down Jake. So, so fine. Mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. 
I would just add that I think our public works vehicles look awesome and great. Oh, yeah. And I've got a lot of compliments from everyone. And thank you all. New business or other announcements? I touched the sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> and you have pictures to prove it. And I have a picture to prove it. And, the room and actually touched the brush <laughs> and was like visibly excited when they told me that, oh, this is the sweeper. And they didn't realize they get such a reaction. Can we, uh, so, can we post that picture? That, the picture may be posted. We'll have to review it. And, uh, talk Are to you sure it's the right match on target? Great. Yeah, I do want to thank the public works staff for taking the time on a Sunday to be in that parade. I'm the ones yeah. that I had the uh, honor to talk to about it, they were loving the opportunity. So I thought it was great. I hope we get to see something like that again. So it's awesome. And taking the time on Saturday for the touch the truck, touch too. Truck they were, oh, yeah, the touch yes. truck. It was a very big. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. the police you know what just to, if you could share i i talked to a couple of grandparents that were there and a couple other people and they didn't even live here they are not even connected to hampshire and they heard about the touch of truck and the big dump trucks that were going to be there so they specifically came and one i remember she was from off in the states her husband and her children were and grandchildren were coming from Chicago. And they, there was a touch of truck there, and they wanted to be able to touch the trucks. <laughs> so it really was. And um, our employees that were there did an outstanding job. They were yeah. really working with the kids and the parents. And we had great you know, public works. Yeah. Look at yeah. look at around town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that branches were. And, yeah. and my three year old and my my son well, both came out for that. I, my, my son actually let my grandson run into the street during the parade, and he would not let him do that anywhere else in America. <laughs> <laughs> That's good time. That's good yeah, time. Tal looks yeah. great. It would look even a little better if we had a helmet. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Is that that would go under the facade program? No. Yeah. no. <laughs> you could see it from anywhere in the public, right? You could see it on the public view. Right? Yes. See? Yeah. You can only drive on state lines. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Oh, okay. second. Sure. Okay. Roll call vote, please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're breaking. We're doing it. Trustee Coast is still on the record. It's 43 minutes. I still have a vote. Ms. Holder. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mr. Gold. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mike. Aye. Ms. Collins, student. Aye. Mr. Robertson. 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 Aye.